Hi, I'm Stacy Rourke, and welcome to another episode of Writer's Reality, where I give you an in-depth look at what it means to be a writer in today's literary world. Today we're going to have kind of a serious vlog. I know you probably didn't think I was capable of that, but I am. We're going to talk about something that is very, very important to all authors, and that is protecting yourself and your work. Goodness, that wasn't serious at all, was it? Let's try this again. Okay. Um, the reason I felt the need to talk about this particular topic today was because this past week I learned that one of my own books was the victim of copyright infringement. Um, some people had posted it on Amazon.com that did not have rights to it. They had been making money off of it for a full year. I did not see a penny of that. They basically were stealing directly from me. So today we're going to talk about how you can protect yourself against situations like this. And I know you're probably thinking, well, that'll never happen to me. I don't need to worry about it. Well, I thought so too. I thought, I'm a nobody. Why would anybody want to steal my work? But if the opportunity is there, there are just people out there that will take it. So we're going to talk today about how we can protect ourselves. The first piece of advice that I can give you is to never, ever, ever sign with anyone that you don't trust. Do your research. It doesn't matter if it's a publisher, an editor, a cover artist, anybody that is going to touch your work in any way, make sure that they're trustworthy. How do we go about doing that? Research them online. That's a good way. However, there's a lot of miscommunication that can happen there. The best way is to talk to people that you know and you trust. Make some connections. I know it takes time and in this industry we feel like we need to be powering forward all the time. Take the time to do your homework. Make the connections. Find out who other people use for services and find out what kind of relationship they had with them. Is this someone they trust? Is this someone they would recommend? Do your homework. It's very, very important. And if you are getting a bad feeling from somebody about working with them, trust your gut and don't do it. It could save you a lot of money and a lot of hassle. Another thing that can help you protect yourself is to Google yourself often and regularly. Get your mind out of the gutter, Pervy McPurvison, you know what I'm saying. Um, in this industry, your name is your brand and your books are your livelihood. And you need to know what is out there being said about them at all times. Google your name and see what comes up. Now I'm not saying you need to take that as an opportunity to go off on some rampage about somebody that gave you a bad review. I'm just saying that it's a good way to find out if there's any potential issues that you need to address, that you need to figure out a course of action for. It's also by doing searches on your book, you can find out where all it's available. And you can find out if somebody's pirating your book. If someone is pirating your book, you can then discover from there the proper ways to get it pulled down from sites or what you need to do. Um, you'll find that most places like Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Smashwords, they don't mess around with copyright infringement. If they sit, think someone is victimized by this, they will pull the book down relatively quickly. So that's a little piece of reassurance. As for me, the way that I found out that there were two copies of my book up is that Amazon actually sent me an email with the um, illegal version and my own version that were on there. So that was the way that I discovered it. They had different covers. and. I found out I was being stolen from via email. So let's say that you find out someone is stealing from you and it's in a substantial amount and you need to take to that next level. Well that's where my third and final tip comes into play and it's probably the most important of the three. Copyright your work. While it is true from a legal standpoint that all you have to do is write the copyright, the year and your name on your copyright page to have the work covered. In case it ever becomes a legal issue, it really is important to have that document. Go to copyright.gov, file the forms that you need, it costs $35, and then your work can be proven anywhere that it is yours. $35 isn't a whole lot to protect your work. Now before I get off here and close this up for today, I want to say something to the people that stole from me. Yes, I know who you are and you know that I know that. It took me a full year to write and edit The Conduit before I ventured out to release it. A full year of my hard work that you decided to cash in on. 
Now maybe you didn't get a whole lot of sales off of that particular site because of my own page that was up. But I was working, I was marketing, I was pushing my book. And any sales that you may have gotten were stolen directly from me. Now I know how much you got off of each book because I know how much you were charging for it. If you even got one sale and could only afford to buy maybe a value meal, that was bought with my money. So from the bottom of my heart, I say, if I bought you that value meal, I hope you choke on it. If you would like further tips on how you can protect your work or you would like to discuss this matter or any other literary matters with me or have me answer questions here on the blog, you can get a hold of me at www.facebook.com backslash Stacey Rourke author. Until next time, keep writing. This is Rourke out. Peace. Um, the reason I felt the need to talk about this today was because I recently discovered that one of my own books... Oh, there's my phone. One minute. Let me get that. Um, the reason I felt the need to discuss this particular topic today was because I recently discovered that one of my own books was the copy of the copy Brick. Um, do your do your research. Ugh, brick. <laughs> the first <laughs> Brick. Find out what's why did that just oh the light is are we recording? Are we not recording? What's happening here? If there's any potential in Frick, words are hard. And the last most important thing that you can do to protect yourself is to copy oh, crap. Text messages. Nonstop. This where you find out that someone is stealing your work and you need to take it to legal issues. Ha, ha, ha.